And the Senate race on the Republican side, incumbent John Cornyn was facing a primary challenge from four other folks. He is the projected winner tonight, though, with a large margin of votes, 78 percent of the vote there. Twelve Democratic candidates are fighting to challenge John Cornyn. A candidate needs 50 percent to avoid a runoff. And here is the look now at the familiar face here in the Central Texas region where MJ Hagar, a former candidate for Congress, is now running for U.S. Senate and she leads Christina Ramirez 27 percent to uh, Ramirez's 14 percent with 21 percent of the vote in. And RKXAN's Aaron Cargyle is, uh, I believe, standing by at MJ Hagar's watch party for us in downtown Austin. Aaron. Hey guys, a runoff was expected and that's where we're heading right now. MJ Hagar just took the stage and her parting words for the crowd here were directed at Senator Cornyn. Your time is done. You're fired. That's what she said. In regards to that runoff, she said she's going into this in the strongest position. We got the chance to meet up with her and Senator Cornyn earlier tonight, right after the polls closed and those early voting totals were in. Here's what they both had to say. My last message is for you, John Cornyn. Your time is done because you've sold us out. We've given you plenty of time and it's over. You're fired. Pack it up, Buttercup. As we move on to the general election, we will cede no vote in any region of our state. Like I've done in the Senate, I'll reach across the aisle welcoming Texans caught in the Democrat Party's civil war and repelled by socialism. And we're about to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with Hagar. Look for that tomorrow morning on KXAN News Today, starting at 4.30 and on KXAN.com. Back to you.